Hello, this is Billy Core on February the 5th of 2013. It is about um, 8 o'clock in the evening, and for those of you who um, follow my Facebook page, Rogue Geek on YouTube, might remember the other day I posted saying something saying, expect something very, very, very special in the form of a video this week. Now, this isn't going to be the 300th video, although that is coming soon. But, um, something pretty, um, exciting happened to me Sunday night. I was out of town all day, visiting some friends of mine in the Raleigh area. Got home, got on the computer for a while. Decided to do a, my usual eBay search for Packard Bell computers. And... I came across a very interesting one. Now before I tell you what it is, for those of you who do not know, I have been searching for many, many years to find my original childhood Packard Bell, the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT. Now um, that has so far been completely very unsuccessful. Um, had a few close calls here and there, but it's never happened. Um, well, um, the story goes is that in December of 1995, my dad bought our very first family computer from Best Buy, a Packard Bell Legend A22 CDT running Windows 95. Very, very nice computer. It's pretty much what got me on the track of my um, current career path, um, computer technology and all that, all the way back at age six. Anyway, Sunday night I found not a Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT, but a Packard Bell Legend 818 CDT which is almost completely identical to an 822. In fact, it was manufactured October of 1995, which I imagine was around the same time the 822 was manufactured. And it was um, also a mini tower. It has um, just a 1.2 gigabyte hard drive, a Seagate hard drive, I believe. Uh, pre-installed with Windows 95, of course, and what else does it have? A, 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 a um, quad-speed CD-ROM drive, and how? And it's pretty much identical to my old 822. The only two differences are it has less memory. This one has eight megabytes of RAM. The 822 had 16, but I can upgrade that, of course. And it came with a Packard Bell um, fast media remote. My 822 did not. So, um, and so I bought it. I bought it Sunday night and I was just on the computer a while ago and it, and it says, and it, it's, it came, it's coming from Columbus, Indiana, which is probably about five or six hundred miles away, northwest of here, and I just now checked it and about an hour ago it arrived in Greensboro, meaning that more than likely it will arrive tomorrow. So that's my story. So through the magic of video editing, here we are unboxing the Packard Bell Legend 818 CDT. See you tomorrow. And here we are. It's um, the next day, February the 6th of 2013. And right here is history in a box. <laughs> now, um, apparently what was originally in this box was an HP Pavilion P7 1010 with a AMD Athlon quad-core processor, a terabyte hard drive, and a and Windows 7 Home Premium. Well, what's in here now is quite is a lot older than this. Huh, Fragile. Must be Italian. 
I had to do that joke. I just had to. <laughs> All right, here we go. Unboxing the Packer Bell Legend 818 CDT. And it better work too. How much money I spent on it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see we got a Packard Bell right here and some bubble wrap and some packing peanuts, which will definitely come in handy. Uh, all right. Uh, there's, it's going to be messy. Here it is. <laughs> the Packard Bell Legend 818 CDT. Let's get the camera off the tripod here. You can tell I'm pretty excited. Oh, yeah. There's the spec sticker. Might be the closest I ever get to my original folks, so this is pretty good. Alright, flip it around. It's manufactured October 19th of 1995. Everything looks to be in pretty good shape. It's not as yellowed as I thought it was going to be, but which is a good thing. But um, let's uh, get it plugged in, shall we? Okay, about ten minutes later, I got it all hooked up now. Now um, I'm a little bit concerned because in the eBay listing it mentioned that. He only tested it until it was powered on. Now, I don't know if that means it posted or not, but it, it, there's a possibility this might be dead on arrival. So, and if that's the case, things will be smashed, tears will be shed. But it is now my pleasure to switch the switch that will turn on the Packard Bell Legend 818 CDT, which I hope will last forever. Good, good um, computer tip for you folks. Um, it's always good to plug your computer into an outlet. That really, really will help things along. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry for my uh, moment of stupidity there. <laughs> but here it is, take two. Okay, I hope that standby light turns green. And it did, and we got a power on self test, folks. 8 megs of RAM, invalid system configuration data, diskette drive A error, CD-ROM found, hard drive found. It's like it looks like I might need to do a little bit of work to it, but the um, fact remains that it is functional. F1 to resume. All right, we're booting into Windows 95 here. Now, more than likely, I'll be having to replace the CD-ROM drive in this, even though it is what my 822 had, but it doesn't have a, it doesn't support reading burnt CDs, so, yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's like the setup wallpaper. Whoa. Yeah, it looks like this it looks like this computer's seen um 
a lot of use. This will be reformatted, obviously. Looks like it has um, Microsoft Return of Arcade on here. Uh, Microsoft Exchange, you don't see that much anymore. But I am relieved that this works. Let's see if we can close out with that. Looks like it's got a version of Office on here. I'm guessing probably 97 or something. Our drive just clicking and clacking away. Now I don't want to dial up to the internet. <laughs> okay, we got Barbie Magic Hair Styler. Yeah. <laughs> and it's still got the original Packard Bell um, image on here. Let's see if we can find where the system credentials are. like the main folder, the main program group is missing, uh, but I know how to get to the system credentials another way. I see how much is stuffed on the hard drive. Yeah, we only got about a quarter of it left. <laughs> uh, let's see, one was in the navigator folder. Well, I don't think it is. PB Tools, that's it. Winspec.exe. And here we go. Alright, it's a different hard drive format number than my 822 was. Okay, we got a 100 megahertz Pentium. VGA, Cirrus Logic, hard drive, exceeds all test parameters, October 19th, 1995, 12.22 p.m. You know, a lot of times this, I consider the um, Packard Bell system credentials as a Packard Bell's birth certificate. <laughs> I wonder, I'm curious to know what, um, when the last time this computer was used. We go to Windows Explorer. Okay. Arrange icons by date. I'm guessing if I had my guess, it was, last time it was probably used was sometime around 2002, so about 11 years since, since it's been really used. And like I said, I gotta make a few minor um, adjustments here and there, but overall, I think we got a working machine. So we will check back later. Goodbye.